What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're going back to soccer. It's been a while, I know. I've been away from soccer mainly because I ran out of ideas. I reacted to every play there is. I reacted to all the compilations, all the highlights, everything. Um, but I, I definitely wanted to come back, make another reaction. This is from Raymar, reacted to a couple of his videos before, so make sure to check him out. This is the most feared defender in history, Paolo Maldini. I always butcher the first name, but um, I did react to him before, just his overall highlights, but this is basically a documentary, if you don't know what Raymar posts. Let's get into it. We're finally back to soccer. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm sure many of you have heard the phrase, Man, it's been a while. With championships. And in football, I think the last time I reacted to a soccer video was like, the ultra fans or whatever, those crazy fans. Just a single goal. And then focus everything into like I realize I have it quiet with these ones because there's a voiceover. And dedicate the rest of the match entirely to playing defense. And the crazy so I really don't know who's the best defender of all time in soccer. I mean, I know arguments were between Sergio Ramos, Maldini, uh, Van Dyke. No one else who could really strike fear into the hearts of the opposition like Paolo Maldini. He's I'm not qualified enough to say who's the best. As the greatest overall defender in football history. So what exactly did he do to be able to gain such widespread respect? Well, today, due to popular demand and the fact that I've never done a video on a defender before, we're finally going to take a look. Defenders getting their respects. Hey, if you've uh, been watching me for a while, when I do these soccer action videos, defenders are usually my favorite, uh, comes from very favorite position. Them and goalies. His father, Cesar Maldini, is a club legend and the former captain of the Milan squad that won the club's very first European Cup in history. He was regarded in his days as one of the best defenders in the world. So naturally, much was expected of Paolo to live up to his father's legacy. But nobody would have guessed the kind of player Paolo would become. Paolo Maldini would break into Milan's first team at the insanely young age of 16. It's crazy they have footage from that. thought it was nepotism that he was even in the club, just because his father had huge respect and influence in Milan. But Cesar Maldini was not kidding when he talked about his son's incredible potential and skill at such an early age. At just 17 years old, he was added into AC Milan starting 11, playing as a fullback. And Jeez. as a teenager, Maldini was forced to immediately play against the best footballers playing at what was then the most competitive football league in the world. And this was an AC Milan squad that was serious about trying to build a footballing dynasty, slowly making their way to becoming one of the most feared clubs in world football. And to have a 17-year-old starting at a position where mistakes would lead to losses in a league where defense was the most important aspect of the game was completely unheard of, showing you just how legitimate Paolo Maldini really was. His skill set was perfect for the position. Many people think that tackling is the most important skill a defender can have. But in the words of Paolo Maldini, I never thought about that. If I have to make a tackle, then I have already made a mistake. Right. Defensive intelligence involves so much more. Maldini was a master at anticipating the movements of attacking players, as well as having amazing timing to make the right interceptions. He oh, made yeah. sure his positioning, anticipation, Great pass. And interceptions were Love seeing the ball control also of defenders. The very first option to take. And this was strange because back then, defending was in a big part a very physical rule, especially in the way that Serie A played. So the intellectual and tactical part of it wasn't really a priority for the defenders of his era. It was always reacting to the attacker instead of forcing them to react to you or being proactive in anticipating the attack. But make no mistake, when Paolo Maldini did have to be physical, he was absolutely great. Oh, that's weird. Let me just... Yeah, much better. You guessed it. This video was uh, sponsored by hey. no other than Nord Respect VPN. for um, my location Raymar. I'll keep world, the ad. Global servers and to access the internet is if I was actually there. Nord is also the fastest VPN on the market, so you'll never have help to worry about him, help him get some money. Lives. So for watching movies on Netflix and especially for watching football and other sports content, Nord makes it easy to access content from any part of the world. And like Paolo Maldini's incredible defense, Nord helps you keep your IP address and other sensitive information safe wherever you go especially if you're accessing things like email or bank account logins in public spaces so whether you're on your phone this is when i just look at computer, Nord, my uh, recommended video from the side click while this is going who might be watching right now go to nordvpn.com slash raymar or use my promo code to get nord's exclusive cybersecurity package plus four additional months of subscription there you go you heard it help them out free 
It's risk-free for 30 days, so try and see if you like it. Why not give NordVPN a shot today and make the most of your internet? Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I wish I could get some sponsors going. Hey, that's something I gotta go after, but I gotta get my subscribers up, so please subscribe if you're watching this video. It'll help me out greatly. Baldini already had a big frame and was much more physically developed than many players at his age. As a teenager, the man would already lay out and body full-grown men. You can't even hate on it because he was never viewed as a dirty player. His aggressive tackles would always get the ball. Being aggressive and being dirty is two different things. We know that. In his entire 25-year career, I love the aggressive players, but the dirty players. Precision. And the who try to hurt people he was able to do it was no. really what threw opposing players off and maybe the best aspect of his tackling skills was how well he timed his challenges maldini knew when to back up and give space and he's when quick to go in strong for the just recovery. when you don't know he's coming he's there secrets into his technique by looking at the attacker's body language whether it be putting their heads down turning their back or having made a bad touch maldini would use a variety of tactics depending on what the opposition is currently giving him and you'll see exactly what i mean as you watch more and more highlights of his defense but Maldini's greatest skill set on the defensive end was by far his ability to mark opponents and force them to react to his movements. You already know that Maldini was a beast when he went for the tackles, but his defense was so good that again, it wasn't all that necessary. Sir Alex Ferguson once said, Maldini went through the entire 90 minutes without tackling. That is an art, and he is the master of it. In one-on-one -on -one situations, Maldini knew how to force his opponent to go where he wanted and stuck with his man giving the opposing players as few options as possible on where and how to attack. He'd use subtle contact with his arms to put attacking players off balance without making it too obvious, while also using his body as a barrier and still knowing how to dictate the pace of his opponent. And if Maldini was ever beat, the man was a very agile defender as well. He had decent pace but incredible reaction speed for his position. His lateral movement especially helped him defend well against pacey players that I do miss reacting to um and off dribble speed to beat their defenders. And the like player highlights like this, like legends for the first time. If I go back in life, that was a good time in life, reacting to those videos, getting thousands of views, you know, interacting with people in the comments. It was a good time. But when you run out of ideas, your viewership starts to go down, which happened to me. Probably the best overall defender of all time. You know, I'd rather on top of all that defensive more I'm more of quality over quantity. skilled player for his position. He was incredibly calm and composed, never having a look of panic on his face, handling So I only reacted to good videos, not you know what I mean. Just a bunch of stuff that nobody really cares about. That's why I stopped reacting to soccer videos. In fact, in the words of Ronaldinho himself, Maldini was one of the best defenders in Champions League history. But what's so impressive about him is that when he was on the ball, he didn't look like a defender, but an elegant midfielder. Coming from one of the most skilled footballers of all time is surely a compliment to Maldini's <coughs> ability. Maldini like I could have I, I could have been posting and a very I could have posted soccer videos every day if I wanted to, but they'd be terrible videos. His career. And the I try looking at stuff all the time about what to react to, and it just highest level while continuing can't find anything. His team on the counter attack throughout the match. And this one though caught my eye, so was easily the most wanted to defender check it out. Even the best and most skilled players didn't look forward to being defended by Maldini. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has once said Zlatan. Maldini was the I always thought it was called Zlatan, not Zlatan. Ever faced. He had everything. He was a complete defender who was strong, intelligent, and an excellent man marker. And if he knows Lazan, he rarely ever gives anyone praise, especially defenders. Maldini even made it hard to attack for a guy as big as Lazan was. And when he was still a youngster in AC Milan, Maldini even battled it out with the late, great Diego Maradona. Jeez. And he was holding his own. Although That's very physical, you had to give respect to the young boy who was giving 110% into the to. You have to. As difficult as possible you get an opportunity like that. The greatest footballers you have in history to. to do their thing on the attack. Most young men defending Maradona, although he was out of his prime, would have still struggled greatly. But Maldini was up to the challenge and did a very good job doing so. But easily the best player we can use to gauge just how good a prime Paolo Maldini really was at defending is no other than Ronaldo. I'm sure many of you are aware of how insanely good Ronaldo was. Racks the R9 a couple times on this channel. Striker. And this was a prime Ronaldo before all the injuries and weight gain. At the most fit he's ever been in his career. He had the pace, strength, amazing touch, and godlike dribbling skills with the ability to put the ball in the back of the net in any way you could possibly think of. However, Paolo Maldini was Ronaldo's kryptonite. In his words, 
Paolo Maldini is the best I've ever played against. And you know just how many great defenders the man has played against his whole career. And of course, it's an impossible task to really stop Ronaldo. Even though Ronaldo, defense is so Ronaldo important, it's still just so underrated Ronaldo, in any sport. Like the man even defended legends like Rivaldo and Thierry Henry and gave them as difficult of a time as you could. Defense wins championships, though. That's the thing. You can score as much points as you could, but if you can't stop points, well, it doesn't you really matter. They were just average footballers. That's how good his defense really was. The man was a defensive wall, and to every opponent, Opponent knew what they were about to get when they played against him because another part of Maldini's career was his level of consistency throughout those years and throughout the later part of his career you can still see Paolo Maldini giving his all to play defense even against a young Cristiano Ronaldo although his legs weren't what they used to be Maldini still had the fire intensity and passion to defend Throughout his nearly a quarter of a century career with AC Milan, Paolo Maldini has done it all and shown the footballing world what it means to be the foundation of your squad. His leadership, ability, and composure has seen him achieve every accolade you could want as a defender for your club. He's won seven Serie A titles, four Italian Super Cups, five European Cups slash Champions League titles, and five UEFA Super Cups. The president's not a Hall of Fame, though, for soccer. I know of. Voting in 1994 and in 2003 one of the few times a defender has ever made it in the last few decades and certainly one of the only defenders to be nominated more than once and although maldini came close to winning the world cup in 1994 and the euro in 2000 he decided to prematurely retire from international football which is a shame because he would have definitely been included in italy's 2006 world cup winning squad and they probably <sighs> would have had tough. an even easier time with him on the pitch but overall i don't think anyone else in football is regarded as the best in their position Position of all time more than Paolo Maldini was. Yes, Milan was definitely a dynasty back then, and I've already talked about them in another video, but as talented as they were on their attack in midfield, they would not have been nearly as successful without their defense. And overall, Maldini was the biggest part of that defense towards nearly three decades that he's defended the club. And like they always say, it's defense that wins championships. Maybe he is the best of all time then. Guys, let me know where you rank as defender. In the list of all time great defenders. Also, if you have any other video recommendations, let me know in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed, leave a like as it really is the best way to support the channel. And make sure you subscribe and turn those notification bells on for more videos like this every week. Also, shout out to everyone that's been begging me to make a video on a defender. But anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support. Well, that was Maldini. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm glad to be reacting to soccer um, again or football. I call it soccer here because football, I call it American football. Anyway, who cares? That was a problem when I first started reacting to these videos. Everyone used to hate that I called soccer. I'm going to continue to call it soccer because people call it soccer here in America. Who cares? It's not a big deal. Um, people call it, people call American football egg ball. I don't care. If people call it egg ball. It's whatever. Um, just call it whatever you want. Anyway, great defender. Great video. Great content creator and Raymar. Make sure to check out his um, channel. Hope you guys enjoyed though. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Please help me get the 7,000 subscribers. It'll be greatly appreciated. I've been at a plateau lately. Just trying to get some subscribers. Be really appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.